Hey, my name is Xbeke from Team Origin, and this is my basic champion guide to Kassadin. The early in with Kassadin is one of the weakest there is in the game, because it's really hard for you to take trades. All you can do is wait for your Q cooldown and then trade with the other guy. So every time you had your Q up, you should look into trading with the other guy. And I don't recommend farming with Q ever, because it's really, really good since you will have more potions than your opponent to always try to harass him with Q. You might lose the trades a bit, but it will come to a point that you will have full HP and a few potions left and he will be low on mana and with no potions left. And that's the point where you will start, start winning the lane. When you play Kassadin, expect to get pushed in early. Um, every champion or most of the champions will end up pushing at your turret for the first five levels until you get your six. So what you have to do is pretty much try to stay healthy. Like don't go for a CS that will cost you half HP. Just farm the ones that are like safe or that you will only lose one auto. And pretty much try to survive that. Like try to harass him and if at some point you see that he's half HP trying to push you a turret, call your jungler and don't hesitate to use flash ignite him slow and do your combo on him and let your jungler finish him on. Like that's the only thing you can do pretty much in this lane early. When you're looking into teamfights with Kassadin, you always have to keep in mind that you're not a champion that should go in always. You should always stay in a flank zone. Your your goal there should be to scare the enemy carries away. You have to be in a position that they know if they go attack and get, they get CC, you will jump in and burst them. So sometimes it's really good if you just do your go in, do your combo, put in half HP and burn your flash away. Because what you will do is you will create a window that your team can use to kill their frontline while you are wasting the time of the enemy carries. And then when your team actually reaches them, you can go in back with ultimate after two seconds and do another burst. If you're not able to reach the backline because maybe they have a really fed AD carry or the AP carry and, and AD carry are playing together so you cannot really go in without dying, it's really good if you just stay with your team as well. You have a really strong slow with low cooldown that you can you can keep spamming on the front line to help your team guide them. With Kassadin, it's always really good when you're doing a full combo that you ulti on top of the guy to do the more damage you can. And then as soon as you slow, do an auto and then reset it with your W. Your W resets the auto attack always and it gets you get an extra auto there that might kill him with the ignite when he flashes away or something. Don't burn everything really fast, just do it slowly. A slow auto Q and then finish him with the, with the W at the same time. Uh, remember that your Q always gives you a magic shield that we uh, neglect a lot of the damage from the enemy. Try to use that Q when the guy is gonna do a spell on you because that shield is actually really really important when you're fighting a 1v1. So for Kassadin, I uh, use always Magic Pen on Red, uh, Flat AP on Queens, and Blue CDR on, on, on the Blues. <laughs> Sometimes uh, you can use AP per level, but lately having CDR is much, much better because your ultimate is really low cooldown when you level up. Uh, for the Yellows, is the only one that I change often between Scaling HP or Flat Armor. Uh, it just depends in, on if you're facing a strong champion in lane like a Barus or a Yasuo that you might want to have that extra armor so you don't get all in and killed. Uh, while if you have a, well, while if you're facing an AP champion, you can just go for that HP scaling, have an easy lane, and then have a lot of HP later with your Rod of Ages. Uh, the masteries for Cassadin are like most, 99% mm, of the times I will go 2109 because you don't really need that defensive mastery and you get the extra cookie and the CDR reduction on the summoners, which is really good to have on Kassadin. Uh, but if you have a really, really hard lane in which you're gonna be maybe force backed or getting auto attack a lot, it's really good to get that 21 9 just so you survive the early phase and your team doesn't have to put too much help on your lane. Mm, I always start Q with Kassadin at level 1. It's the best spell you have to have good trades early to take some damage away with the seal. And level 2 I follow up with W, you don't really make that much use of the of having the E that early unless you're getting a level 2 gank, which is not really normal. And then level 3 you take E. After that, normally I max E always. Uh, there is no point of maxing Q unless you have an opponent that you're gonna that you're gonna be trading a lot with because most of them will push you and what you wanna have is wave clear and a stronger slow in case you get a gank from your team. Uh, on Kassadin, normally you will always start with flask, three health potions and one mana potion uh, because you want to have the ability to not lose any farm and that way if you get really harassed early in the lane you can just eat potions and not care too much about it because what you want to do in this lane is farm until you can get at least your catalyst. 
it's really good to go for Catalyst and Roll of Ages as soon as possible because once you have it, you become really, really tanky and it allows you to ulti in every time you see a chance. Uh, as a second item, after you have your Roll of Ages, you should see what the enemy team the enemy team comp is running because sometimes you will need the Thonias, which is really good to have that active that you can just go in and Thonias in the middle of everyone and bait them to go on you. But if, it, if the enemy team doesn't have a comp that they want to teamfight with, it's really good to go Ravalon because at that point you have a lot of damage and you can split push and catch people catch people alone and pretty much one shot them with these items. Uh, after you have Ravalon or Thonias, you want to go for the other item or avoid stuff if the enemy team is stacking MR. And your final, your final build should look something like this, like Road of Ages, Thonias, Rabadon, Void Staff, and the last item could be something like a Leech Bane, or a Luden Seco, or even a Morello, depending on if, on if you want more damage or more tankiness. Thanks for watching this basic champion guide, and make sure to check out the rest of Ober at lowclass.com. He is very matchup dependent, and make sure you're not picking him into a ton of CC that you're unable to block with Windwall. In most matchups, Yasuo has the advantage in the early game, especially with the boot start, so you want to be looking for trades.